We begin in Nigeria, where soldiers from the Joint Military Task Force armed with guns and gasoline began a search for abandoned militant training camps along waters of the Niger Delta. Officials say the camps belong to warlord Ateke Tom. Security experts working to protect Africa's biggest oil and gas industry say involving former rebel leaders in the military efforts to flash out the remaining armed gangs in the creeks of the Niger Delta could be a turning point. But they also caution uh, that it is virtually impossible to secure hundreds of kilometers of exposed pipeline which crisscross remote communities. In 2009, Nigeria declared amnesty for the Niger Delta militants who would lay down their weapons. Uh, the strategy was designed to restore stability in the region. Under the program, broken by President Goodluck Jonathan, thousands of gunmen laid down their weapons, bringing more than a year of relative peace. I recently sat down with Henry Ajumogobia, Nigeria's Minister of Foreign Affairs, and asked him if the ongoing military attacks mean the amnesty deal is off the table. Amnesty was a program that um, had three, three facets, uh, the disarmament of the militants, um, which was uh, largely successful, uh, then the rehabilitation and reorientation of the, of the militants, and then the reintegration. Uh, we're in the latter two phases now, the rehabilitation and uh, reintegration phase. Um, now, in, in, in any um, situation like that, you're going to find renegades who um, have not um, accepted the amnesty or uh, wish to uh, go back to um, oil theft and, and the, the benefits of that. And the, the position of the government is to deal with those actions as criminal actions and not to see them as we had done before as part of a social um, agitation. Um, and so the, the government security agencies will crack down on any groups that um, seek to um, encourage a resurgence of militancy. Now, the movement for the emancipation of Niger Delta, or MEND, maintains that the government is being insensitive to the deaths and displacement caused by the military operations in the Niger Delta. Tomorrow, we'll have a full interview with the Minister Henry Ajumogobia.